Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Waha, Rakakwadash, Barakatham. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who were well, who taught me this truth, and who most definitely labor in this word. I also want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutations to all of you, Akim, across the four corners of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news in our truthfulness and sincerity. You so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos slash Hispanics, you so-called Native Americans slash Seminole Indians, as well as you Israelite foreigners that have been scattered across the four corners of the globe that may look like one of the other 17 heathen nations. But if your bloodline goes back to the seed of a so-called Negro, a so-called Latino slash Hispanic, a so-called Native American slash Seminole Indian, then you are in fact and indeed an Israelite if you can perceive it through the spirit, all right? As well as I want to give peace and blessings to the Aquaf, which are the women, the sisters that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh and the name of his son Yahweh Shai, as well as I want to give peace and blessings to the children that believe upon the name of the Lord Yahweh and the name of his son Yahweh Shai, all right? So it's your brother Karataza. I'm back with another video epistle. Lord willing, it's edifying to those of you who may come across it. All right. So, you know, I think this is going to be a, 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 not a too long of a video. All right. I got four precepts, but hey, we'll see how the spirit uh, goes. All right. And this video is called Famili Famili Familiar Familiarity. All right. Being familiar breeds content okay let me say that again familiarity breeds contempt all right and i got that from the apostle gabar a great millstones you know every apostle all right has their own you know a saying that they're known for all right and that's one of his uh sayings all right and the reason why i'm bringing uh that statement up is because, you know, I'm just now catching up on on some videos that I hadn't seen, all right, and didn't know brothers do, and it's concerning that group called Fopi, right? So, you know, the apostle, I was watching a video by the apostle Gabar, he, he was speaking on how, uh, you know, the elder Manatee Zagba did a, a video on them, uh, the, uh, the elder, uh, down there in Texas, his 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 name is escaping me right now, but his channel is Remnant One Forty Four, and I watch the video, the brother every day. All right, and then I seen the brother uh, Amawanga. Oh, the elder Yashawamba. I seen the brother Amawanga Bar do a video, and I was at the plantation, and my like, if my jaw literally could have hit the floor on what. That group, Fopi, and the, I guess it was the head said to the the guy Kornaf, all right, about his wife. My mouth, my jaw literally hit the floor. But you know what the first thing that hit me? When I seen they how it was such a big joke for them to even play like that. Familiarity breeds contempt. Those guys are too... Outside of them being wicked, you have to be familiar with a person to even play with them like that. It's no, I'm in a great millstone Detroit camp, and I'm a brother to them brothers that is known to be a, a joking, playful brother. But I don't, I joke about uh, things. I don't, I'm not the brother who, I'm not, I don't joke. Oh, look at, look at your shoes, brother. What what are those? Them beat down. Oh, man, what's up with your coat? No, I'm not. That, I don't play with brothers. I don't play with brothers. I play with brothers. We joke about situations that we see, not amongst each other. Oh, man, look, what's up with your car? That car beat down. No, we don't do, we don't play like that. So, you know, I can, uh, you know, I couldn't imagine no, me, I just couldn't, bro, that, this, my mouth hit the floor, man, all right? But with that, let's grab these, let's grab some scriptures, man, all right? This is Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 22. 
that ye put off concerning the former conversation of the old man. All right, and that word conversation goes back to your behavior, all right, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, all right. Man, when you come into this truth, you don't joke like that. Oh, man, I fuck, I uh, F your, your bitch, your wife. Man, that's a no-no. Look, I'm going to tell you like this. I would expect nothing more short than a strong slap across the face. You know, for that's what I would be thinking. If I said that to any man in my camp, I would think that they would haul off and, and spit would be flying out the side of my mouth. But I wouldn't even do that, all right? I wouldn't even joke with a brother. I don't even want to know what a brother wife look like. It, look, it's no brother in the camp. I could tell you, I w- if I walk past they woman, I would walk past her and not know who she was because we don't, I, we don't know each other's women. All right, so and for you, for that guy to be ahead of a camp, let's get this again. Ephesians chapter four and verse twenty-two, that you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after the Most High Yahweh is created in righteousness and true. Holiness, man. All right. So those guys, man, I'm pretty, I didn't come into the knowledge of the truth until 2016. I'm pretty sure folk in them, y'all know better. All right. Y'all been knowing about this truth way before I have. And I know not to play and joke about that. And not only that, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahshua, he hate that. All right. Let's grab another scripture, man. He hate adultery, man. All right, that's it's a certain things you don't play with, man. That it's certain it's that, and it goes back to like the brother said, not having a fear of the uh, uh, a good, healthy fear of the heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Shai, because the heavenly Father hate adultery. All right, so let's go here to the book of um, Galatians. All right, this is gonna be the book of Galatians, chapter six, and verse seven. All right. And it reads, be not deceived. The Most High Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Hey, the Heavenly Father wasn't joking when he said uh, he hates adultery, not to, not to commit adultery. All right? Being a... Hey, that that's not that that the way he joked. That's not only being, uh, that's also being covetous after another man's possession, a uh, a uh, man's wife is his possession. So in you covenant after another man's uh wife, that's being uh, uh uh. Let's get it, man. That's 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 another man's possession, man. No, that's unacceptable behavior. This is going to be the book of Ecclesiastes, also known as Sirach, uh, chapter 36, uh, is it verse 22? I may have to highlight it. Nope, it's verse 24. Uh, and it reads, He that getteth a wife, beginneth a possession, a help like unto himself, and a pillar of rest. So it don't matter whose wife it is, man. That's that man's possession. Even if it's a damn Edomite's wife, that's his possession. The heathen's wife is his wife. We're not to lust after that, and we most definitely not supposed to be not supposed to be playing like that, man. All right, the heavenly Father Yahweh by Shemel Shai is not mocked, man. All right, to even play like that, to get to that level of playing, that means. You guys are familiar, and what does our one of our apostles always tell us? Familiarity breeds contempt, man. All right. <clears throat> Meaning, once you get familiar with a person, you can uh, you you it's easier and easier and easier to do whatever you did each each and every time. All right. So with that, we'll grab one more precept, and we'll close out with this. 
All right, because hey man, that was horrible, man. That me say I did I wasn't ready to see that, man. All right, the wrong man talking about I had yo her in the Hellcat touching that cat. That's all like some uh uh worldly ass son of worldly ass nigga in a rap song would say. Now look, there goes I cringe. All right, I used to listen to a a, a group called uh, Three Six Mafia. Right, I used to be even more. I used to be a, a huge fan of them. All right, that that music. All right, even now, I f- if I go back and listen to that music, they some songs man, I cringe at that shit. I have to turn the shit off or f- uh, uh, fast forward it if I'm listening to the whole album to another song. All right, just because of the, and then I find myself rapping, and then they get to talk about, I fucked your, whatever, and I have to stop myself from saying that shit. All right? That shit wrong, man. This is St. Matthew chapter 12. We'll close out with this. Uh, this is going to be St. Matthew chapter 12. We'll get verses 36 and verse 37, man. All right? And this is Yahweh Shai speaking. This is a red letter. And it says, but I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Hey, Amen. Don't, don't play like that, man. You know what? Lord willing, this video is it's nothing to me. Hey, brothers, then knocked it out the park. I'm just adding my... Uh, my little, it's a, it's a chance for me to uh, further advance and do the work, man. All right. So, Lord willing, this video was edifying to those of you who may come across it. Once again, I want to say, Koha Loyim La, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, Ba Shem Wahawah Chakodash, Barakatam. Once again, I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who were well, who taught us this truth, who labor in this word. And once again, I want to give a sincere peace, blessing, and salutations to all of you Akim across the four quarters of the globe that are out here pushing this gospel, which is the good news and our truthfulness and sincerity. So with that, I want to say a ball, 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 and shalom.